What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a uh, Rivals of Ixalan draft here on Magic Online. I'm real excited about Head on his Climb here. At the beginning of, your, of combat, put a 1 1 counter on target creature you control. Then, if that creature has three or more plus 1 plus 1 counters, you flip it. Target creature gets plus X plus X and flying where that's its power. That's pretty strong. I think this is the best card in the pack, but I think the rare might be a. definitely an option. What do you guys think? I don't know. This is my third draft. So if you guys are going to complain about the picks in the comments, just keep that in mind. Juposhi with the two-month sub. That seems way too low, dude. I like this, and I really kind of want to try it. I think it's actually a super strong card. It's almost a card you don't actually want to flip, so you can just put your counters on different guys. But you are able to flip it if you want to. You know, like you can put two guys, two counters on, two counters on, two counters on. And uh, then you can just decide to put the third counter when you want to flip it. But I think we're going to try this because it's it's, a, it's kind of a strong card. I think this card is probably insane. I have no idea. Six mana could be too much. Um, Overrun is usually broken and limited. And this card puts counters on them instead. I know you don't, they don't get trample, and I know it's not th plus three, plus three, but... Two counters on all creatures. Ridgeback, the, uh, there was the 5-5 the five, five for five that put all 1-1 all one, one counters on your guys. Um, but, you know, in uh, it was in, like, uh, Kaladesh Limited, and that guy was busted. But this card... Puts two two one one. It doesn't come with a five five, but it puts two counters on it, guys. So I think if you can get the quantity, I think this is probably if we can go, if we can get the Merfolk, I think we're I think we're in good shape and we can try to build around these two these two bros. What is this guy? Draw three, then put two. Just brainstorm guy. How many miscloaked heralds are do we want if we have both of these to make them real big? Probably a lot, right? I feel like this is this could be the miscloak herald deck. What up, Monsonster? Yeah, Jiboshi, I understand. Um, <laughs> totally understandable. Uh, also, the fact that I knew you uh, uh, that that two months was too low for you that that's a good feeling because then I'm like, I know that dude was subbed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Crashing Tide, if we are Merfolk, seems real good. I don't know what to pick here, though. Oh, Game Trader 2! Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. I'm going to take the Crashing Tide, I think. I don't think Jade Bear is that great. It could be Jade Bear. I think we can get more than one. I think I like Crashing Tide. River Darter seems reasonable. Just a 2-3 three for 3. We could also put all the counters on the Hexproof guy. That's pretty reasonable. I mean, if we play this guy pre-combat, we just put a 1-1 one, one counter on it with Adonis Climb. 3-3 three, three for 4, just getting a dude plus... I think it's. I think this guy is probably better. This pack is interesting. Hmm. 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 I don't know what this... I, I'm worried about like having a million stupid three drops. I'm going to take the four drop. Another Crashing Tide. It's like the only card in the pack that's actually reasonable here. Definitely not taking Storm the Vault. This is a card that I've probably read like ten times and I still like... I always forget what it does because it's it's so meaningless. I'm just like, nah, no, this is... I don't care about anything that's going on in this card. I'm going to take the Naturalize, I guess. It's definitely not this guy. Yeah, whatever. This, these packs have not been very exciting. Wow, two of this guy. Okay, cool. Now they're really just pushing me into the... Uh... <laughs> Take all the dinosaurs. I like Mastermind's Acquisition as a card. I don't think it's a great card here. 
I guess this guy is fine. Especially for Merfolk and we're putting counters on things. That seems fine. This card's really weird because it's just a human warrior, which is like the most obscure creature type in this entire format. I guess it's still a 2-2. Whatever. Don't you want it to get plus 2, plus 0 on their turn? Aren't you like, hey, it's it's your turn. I want to block, so why wouldn't I want a 2-4? Yeah, I will take... I'll, I'll actually play this in this deck because we have like the... Uh, ways to make it big like turn five this guy into turn six this guy you make a five four hex proof flyer seems pretty reasonable oh we got a river darter after all this deck seems great so far i don't know i don't know how the merfolk deck is supposed to look this is literally my third rivals of Ixalan draft in total so i can't make any claims as to how good this deck looks uh factually but i i think this looks like a reasonable deck What do I know? What up, Reeves? <laughs> Just going to go back to SCG since I like uh, nothing but modern and cube, but I have to tell you, I watched all your videos on YouTube since for me as a German guy, it's kind of difficult to catch you on stream. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. I can appreciate that you uh, may not want to watch a Rivals draft if you're a big cube and modern guy, but I appreciate the, the, uh, the comment. So thank you so much, man. A lord would be nice. How about two lords? How about a foil lord and a regular lord? How about a kumina? Because that card is like 20 tickets right now. Scarab God is like 37 tickets on Magic Online. It's actually unbelievable. Unseen Spectre with the sub. 10 months. Thank you so much, man. You are great. Tenali Summoner. Couldn't have been a Rekindling Phoenix, which is, like, also 20 tickets on here, huh? Nothing great here. Just, uh... Oh, this is... I think this is probably the best card in the pack. Right? You just want the Jungleborn Pioneers, right? My ex-boyfriend opened a community at her draft. Oh, God. What a monster. What a monster. <laughs> oh, I made myself laugh, and I'm just, I feel so terrible about it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. I'm definitely taking the, the Jungleborn Pioneer. I feel like this is exactly what you want in this deck. Give me as many Jungleborn Pioneers as I can get. No? nothing. Literally nothing in this pack? Alright, sounds good. If a source of deal damage to another dinosaur, you control. Prevent all but one of it. I think I'm just taking the Chupacabra. I don't know. It's like a dollar, and I don't think we're going to play anything else in this pack. I could take this or negate, but this card's just so good. Why do I care though? I don't know. It's when it's not. It's not a pod. Like I'm not gonna be playing my pod people. I'm just gonna let someone else take this, and we can take the negate, I guess. I'm in, I'm under no like desire to take an aggressive urge, especially when we have double crashing tides and like lots of other stuff we can play. Our, our urge is okay, but I just think we can get one later. Also, actually, did I? This card is actually probably great. This doesn't even have to be. I was almost against this card because I'm like, well, I'm not pirates, but I don't have to be, I guess. I think we're just taking the Dead Eye Rigger. <laughs> dead or Dead Eye Rig Hauler, whatever this card is called. Oh, Silvergill Adept. What does this guy do? Untap a permanent one. Yeah, sure, I don't care about that. Silvergill Adept is probably the best thing we can we can get here. I like Hunt the Week and Water Knot as well, but hopefully this, this, or this will table. But I think we just take the Adept here because... We want early Merfolk, and we want to draw cards, and that does both. How many Crashing Tides can we get? I don't think we need a third. I think I'd rather have the 2-1 the that can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. Seems fine. Had a guy claim yesterday he was opening a ticket when I flipped Hadana yesterday and swung in for 10 damage flying. Claimed the card didn't say it gave flying on his screen. I mean... It says it gives fly. It says it gives flying on the actual card. <laughs> Why would it look different on his screen? Each token that would be created under an opponent's control this turn is created under your control instead. That seems like it's going to be real useful. J.K. I wonder if Plummet is good enough in this format. 
What up, Zaxor? I have no idea what the pick is here. I don't think it's... I don't think this pack is super exciting. Curious Obsession is actually reasonable on, like, Jade Bear, but... Oh, not Jade Bear, but, uh, like, like a Miss Cloak Herald or some one of the unblockable dudes. I'm just going to take that. River Darter again. Secrets of the Golden City could be fine. I don't see us having a send. But maybe? I wish I got one of the uncommons that makes, like, two Merfolk. It might just be River Darter again. Yeah, I don't think this deck needs actually more card drawing. I'm just going to take the other... I'm just going to take the Merfolk. None of these I care about. I don't need another Naturalize. I'll just take the Frill back. I like how this deck looks so far. I'm okay with it. Like, I mean, as far as, like, not saying flying on the card, like, well, for one thing, you can still read it on the actual enchantment, right? Like, I also don't know how that affects you. Like, you either have a flying block or you don't. None of these cards are great. I'll just take... Uh... Uh, whatever. Oh, Riverwise Augur. Sure. Is that better than Jadecraft Artisan? Probably, because I can just put two lands back. It just gives me something to do. I don't know. It brainstorm locks you, which is kind of the funniest part about this card, because you're like, oh, I don't have a way to get these. I have two crappy cards, and they're going to go back on top, so I might my next two turns, but I mean, that's no different from if you didn't have this card. Like, you're still going to draw those cards, only this does draw you one deeper, so. This is a 3-3, three, three, though, which is pretty big. I'm just going to take the 3-3. Three, three. Hey, the urge came back to the surprise of no one. Pretty sure our deck is almost... Oh, I was so hoping this missed... Oh, the Water Knot, too? Oh, God. I think it's actually Herald, though. Herald seems like a really vital part of this deck. Especially with Hadana's Climb. And, uh... Strength of the Pack. Hey, a Plummet. All right. Target you can explain your plan additional land this turn. This might not be terrible, but I'd rather just have the sideboard card. And the Negate came back. Cool. All right. Yeah, we're basically done with this deck. <laughs> Ooh, Ripjaw Raptor. That's a good open. This is also very, very good. I think Raptor is better, though. 4-5 for 4 that draws you cards is probably just so much better. Like, this does nothing as, as a top deck. This is a fantastic top deck. I'm just going to take the uh, Ripjaw Raptor. I think that's pretty easy. Oh, well, I guess we just get that one anyway. I think River Snack is the card with Snack. <laughs> God. I completely unintentionally called it River Snack. That's, uh. Well, that's something, I guess. River Snack. All right. Wow. Well, this is the, this is the pick, so. Whoo! Good times. <laughs> completely had no intention of calling it that. Yeah, the mountain is definitely not the best card in Magic. I apologize for anyone who thinks it is because they have clearly experienced some childhood trauma uh, that they just are uh, incapable of processing, and that's just the way it is. I like this guy, actually. Flash this dude in, block your thing, attack for four when we have uh, Adonis Climb out. It's not Quartermaster. It's not Depths of Desire. This card's just worse than, uh, than Crashing Tide in our deck. There's no other picks in this pack. It's just this guy. Oh, I'm never gonna. There, there was, there's no way I'd play a third color in this deck. It would just never happen. There's no need for it. None of these cards are ever gonna. I don't even look. I, I have a uh, blue green bind, blinders on right now. I can't even see. I don't see colors. Just a two three. The two three flyer is that's actually not bad with uh. And we have three one drops that can attack. I guess. This deck looks great so far. I didn't mean to imply that you would. You were too good for... I don't know about all that. Well, let's slow down a bit there, but... 
Oh, a dive down. Uh, Water Trap Weaver is probably better than one of the darters. I think Sailor of Memes is probably better, the, better than anything else. We don't have any pirates, so I'll just take the Sailor. I don't see you making it in the uh, in the main deck, buddy, but... Destroy a flyer or destroy an enchantment. It's like a naturalize and a plummet in one. Is it just chart a course? I don't know. Why, why do you think that's not even a quote? I never actually said that. I don't even know why that's a quote. Hmm. How did you go quote mountain? Is that a thing you can do? If you say quote in a word, does it actually show you the quote with that word in it? That's insane. I never knew that. How do you know more commands? How do you know about more chat commands than I do in my own stream? Jade Guardian. That's a dude. That is a dude. I also don't mind Pillar of Origins, just naming Merfolk, but Jade Guardian's like... One of the better Merfolk. Shaper Apprentice also very good. Why are these so late and I'm just not going to get any other ones? I'm going to take the Cancel because there's some dumb cards in this set that I'd rather not deal with. Alright, Deep Water, Deep Root Waters, I guess. is. You would have added it. I, you totally would have added it anyway. I miss the Vintage Cube from the second it goes down. I never said that. <laughs> oh my god. Why is quote police a thing? What is even going on? I can't even trust any of you people. You people are all monsters. We got three cuts to make. Why do I have two soul of the rapids? Did I pick two soul of the rapids? I don't remember doing that. That feels like a mistake. Did I make a mistake? 19 creatures. I guess we can cut another another dude or two. This is too many four drops. We can cut one Jadecraft Artisan. And we can cut probably Sworn Guardian. I like that it's a Merfolk, but I, I think I like Stormfleet Airless just better. Or actually Hardy Veteran. That's probably the worst one. Yeah, this is this deck looks great. Sorry, I don't see terrain, guys. 10-7? I'm going to go 9-8 just because I hate 10-7, especially with like double green, double green. Done. This is an easy deck to make. Sorry, I was busy helping my family. You know, see, my mom was in the kitchen with onions. It's weird that the, the, the quote is she's in the kitchen with onions and not she's in the kitchen, kitchen cutting, cutting onions or cooking onions. She's just in there existing with onions. She's not. She's not actually interacting with the onions in any functional way. She's just existing with onions. And that's funny to me. Onions is the name of Mama's sister. Auntie Onions, we call her. Okay, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, so I mentioned it earlier in the beginning of the stream, but uh, Mike just Mike's just at work. And I'm in the middle of making a table. Not a table, I'm making some shelves. So I'm waiting for the battery on my sander to recharge. So I did, I'm, I'm going to do a draft, and then I'm, Mike is probably going to get off work. We'll, put, we'll get some food, because that's, that's what you do. And then uh, we'll be streaming later tonight as well, because that's what you got to do, you know? She got the B.O. real bad. Wow. Yeah, she smells like onions, I bet, huh? I'm a big fan of this hand. We get to go Silver Girl Adapt into Rip Jaw Raptor. Unless they go, like... I don't think there's a negate that they can have, right? Of course, it's our Flash guy, so we can't actually... Uh, I won't be able to surprise you later. Oh, that was a look at that great draw! My God, what a time to be alive! <laughs> Why did you say you were making a table when you're actually making shelves? 
Oh, I've made a terrible mistake, clearly. Ooh, this Ripjaw Raptor getting a... This Ripjaw Raptor might have a curious obsession. If he does, uh, whether they block or don't block, we get to draw a card, and that's pretty cool. Uh, it is only 5 p.m. over here, so... Not terribly late. Mama's little baby is in the kitchen with onions. Mama's little baby is in the kitchen with onions. I don't see Mike as the car. Mike's not helping with the shelves. Don't get me wrong. Almost midnight. Good lord, man. Get your life together. Look at this. Sailor, Sailor, Shorekeeper. You guys ever play that game when you were kids? Or you guys ever play Sailor, Sailor, Shore? I'm so excited. I hate that card. I hate it. I hate it. This guy's pretty good. Can't be blocked by this guy, this guy, or this guy. Or this guy. Can't You just literally can't block this guy. That's pretty cool. I guess I could have played Soul here because I, I have a land, or I could have played either one of these guys, which might have been better, but I kind of want to draw some cards next turn. I'm trying to justify it, but I think it was wrong, so <laughs> yeah. I just got real excited about the guy. That I, once I convinced myself it couldn't be blocked by any of their creatures, I was just like, I'm all in on this 2-1. Plus, they only have three lands. They've missed three land drops. You gonna kill this guy, too? Nope, that guy can't block it either. Oh, we're gonna get curious next turn. And if we hit a land, we can still play one of these dudes. We're doing well for ourselves here. Ooh! I think we play Climb here first, because... I, I mean, like... We could not... But I think our I think we're doing real well right now. And we get to keep up urge too. Woo. This guy like this guy's better than your entire deck right now. Uh oh. They're gonna bounce it. Draw a card? Yeah, that's fine. Anybody got time for that? I am also a fan of everything that's happening right now. This is working out quite well. What does this guy get to be a 5-4 next turn? That just can't be blocked by any of these nerds? No, they're going to kill it right now. There's a one mana black spell that they can kill it with, I bet. I don't know what it is, but it's got to exist. Why did looting surprise you? <laughs> Fatal push. Yeah. That's that's where my mind went, but I'm like, oh, I don't think that's a thing. Oh, look, another creature that we can put counters on. I'm content dealing four here and putting a counter on the soul. I kind of just want the soul to be as big as possible, so... And maybe we can hit another land. That would be nice. Look at all these lands. Whew. Can't play this guy because we didn't hit uh, an island. And I wanted to keep the green up so that no matter what land we hit, we get urge. But Remember that time we played Rip Draw Raptor and then he just died to the best uncommon in the format, like, immediately? He never had a chance to live. So we basically have four unblockable right now, but they do have a... They have four mana and they didn't do anything, so that's pretty... 
That's pretty frightening. I have no desire to play anything at this moment. This guy's got hexproof though, so we're definitely just putting the counters on this guy forever. If you want to do some shenanigans, knock yourself out. They get a cryptic command? They get cryptic command, tap our team. Bounce the Guilt Grove Stalker. That'd be pretty good. Oh, uh, I might start doing Modern Mondays. Maybe I'll do a Modern tomorrow and I'll put it up for Monday. I could see doing that if you guys would enjoy it. I've been really trying to focus on the YouTube channel recently, so. Are you going to let this resolve? Oh, shoot. Just all these you are a cool human being. I enjoy your... <laughs> That's actually hilarious. I enjoy my existence as well. Existence. So I'll I'll probably st I'll stream the modern tomorrow and it'll go up on Monday, right? So it can be it can I can continue the trend. Oof. Oof. I have no idea. I have any idea of the deck I'll play. I have no idea because I haven't even looked. I just made the decision to do it right now. charge for one of your handmade tables <laughs> oh my god yeah i'm a magic streamer and artisanal wood wake woodworker um yeah we're just gonna play this guy five six seven one two three i probably just want to keep up wind strider so we can have Actually, this guy's good enough to play. Like, this is just a guaranteed two damage, right? Like, this guy can... I don't know. I have no idea. Whatever. <laughs> Legend of Zelda the Wood Waker. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Sometimes when I'm having a bad day, I should probably just stream. Sometimes I don't want to stream when I'm having a bad day because I'm like, God, I can't be funny. Like, you guys are... It's just going to be me being like this. Yeah, great. Cool. I guess you killed my guy. And then I realize you guys are hilarious in chat, so I might as well just stream when I'm having a bad day anyway because it's hard to stay upset when you guys, you, you guys say things like this, so... You know, just something for me to keep in mind, I think, going forward. I don't think this uh, can't be blocked by Dinos, guys. Very really, really relevant to the blue-black deck, but I don't know if we have our better replacement here. Yeah, I don't know. You guys are probably funnier than I am. I just don't think you've caught on yet, so I kind of, like, kind of ride that. I kind of ride that wave, I think. How many Merfolk do we have in here? How many Merfolk? Let's find out. I'm wondering if this is better. I mean, if we trigger this twice, I think it's better than River Darter. That guy would not be included, so we're not going to put you over there. Wow, this guy did some work, though. When your whole deck is 1s and O's, like, good deal. I think this is a lot of Merfolk. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think 12 is probably enough. We can try this uh, over the River Darter. Now they're showing standard against you, no matter what you play, Frank, you're more entertaining. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do that. Cool, cool, cool. Like, when you're in a bad headspace, you're tracking probably, but it comes from you also being that. Yeah, I, I appreciate you saying that. Like, a lot. Thank you.
Mom was in the kitchen with onions. Just, just existing with them. Is she cooking with onions? No, she's just existing. Oh God, this is a this is so salty. Ninety. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salty Brood. If you have not done so, be sure to connect to your Twitch and Discord accounts if you want to chat with us in the Discord channel, which has been awesome. So now we have to figure out if we play this guy in turn one, or if we wait to draw another Merfolk. Because I don't want to play. I want to play. Actually, we can play on turn one, then just play Stormfleet Aerialist. We don't have. We have another two drops. So we don't have to worry about having to play Adept on two, which is nice. Iron Chef Sammy, I love you, buddy. You're the best. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get in there. Let's do it. Boom. Boom. For real. Oh, that 2-3 flyer? This is a nice. This is a nice, he said. Mike is going to be here in a couple hours, I imagine. We'll get some food, and then we'll just do some more drafts. I just threw one up. Uh, this is actually a Diet Mountain Dew. It looks invisible because of the green screen, so it's actually incredible. It's uh, it's actually government technology. It's, uh, it's government cloaking technology. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to really brag about it because... Well, it's it's top secret, really. I don't think any of you guys in the chat have clearance. Uh, maybe one of you does, but I mean, I don't know, so I I could get in big trouble. But even divulging this, to be honest, I shouldn't even be drinking this on stream. But you know, I'm I'm thirsty. I just want a little hydration. That's all. If you, if you hold it like that, you look like a real wizard. Um, I am a real wizard. <laughs> Look like. Oh, you look like a real wizard. Yeah. Yeah. Look like. Oh, next turn we got the fives. That's pretty good. This deck seems great. I don't know. I'm going to... Oh, what if I... What if me and Mike buy, like, completely green t-shirts and then we just literally just wear two green shirts on the stream? So it literally just looks like two floating heads. <laughs> I cannot actually imagine that being not hilarious, so. This guy's going to get chupacabra to death, so we'll see. Like, it would just be two floating heads. <laughs> I'm laughing at the idea of it right now. Here it goes. Oh, that's not a chupacabra. Oh, it's got death touch. That's still pretty bad. I guess at least we draw a card, though. Do we even block? Or do we even attack? Do we just wait? I guess we can just hold this dude back, right? Yeah, we're not going to deal any damage. That's not, that's not a good trade. Oh my god, what if, yeah, we can just get like a, a a green stocking for Mike's head. That would be hilarious. You guys are top notch right now. I'll reveal the, this guy. And I'm just going to play the, the more bodies because if we draw a strength, uh, strength card. <laughs> oh, clearly should have played this first and then attack with Riptraw, but I think this game might be over. I don't want to be presumptuous, but... I don't think there's any sweeper. Like, if they have negative two, negative two, it's actually very, very good. But we still got a four, five, and a two, three. We can bounce this guy, deal six. That seems pretty good. Oh, wow. I actually should have made sure there was no uh, international viewers before giving away government secrets. That's awkward. Look at all these flip artifacts they're playing. Come on, Bren Bren. Merfolk four days. 
Let me get the strength card just so I can do it. Come on, one time magic. Don't be like this. Come on. Oh, yes! Oh my god, how, how do you even do? Just so we can do it, ladies and gentlemen. The excitement was real. Let me do it. Let me attack. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Don't let me do it. 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 Whoo! Don't don't. Yes, negative eight. Oh, the satisfaction is real. That's how you can tell I'm a real wizard. Sorry if that clap was too loud. I got real excited because like, ooh, the odds of that. That was a. That was a that was a good time. We're having a good time. <laughs> I felt that clap right in my ear hole. That's where I meant to put it. That's where I put all my claps, just in case you didn't know. My wife and I went to a wedding on Halloween that required costumes she dressed up as the green monkeys from Legend of the Hidden Temple and the wedding photos were all taken in front of a green screen so my wife and I just floating pieces of protective gear. <laughs> okay, that's really funny, actually. The best part about that is that no one else probably has that. Th like, that's a story that no one else has. I think this hand's actually fine. My favorite book... That's a good question. That's a real good question. Um, oh, that's going to be good. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. That's a hard question. Also, can Mike read? <laughs> you know, that I make no claims uh, for or against. Sometimes, sometimes it seems like he can't. And I'm like, can you even read? <laughs> But, you know, it's hard to tell. It's real touch and go sometimes, you know? Oh, look at this guy. They're going to get, like, they're going to draw three cards. The magic books? Uh, no, I have never read any of the magic books. Do we just bounce this guy because we have nothing else to do? This guy gets to attack for, like, ten next turn. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm into the lore in such that I like it a lot, but I don't really keep up with it. So if you asked me like what the lore is for like Ixalan, I wouldn't know. But if someone told me, I'd be interested in it. I'd be like, that's cool. Sounds good. I like that. Um, I don't think I bounced this guy. I don't think I care enough to. They're probably just going to play other Conquistador, and if they play something even better than that, I'll probably just bounce that. Oh, the spaghetti meme? I don't know about that one. Is that is that a new one? Somebody touch my spaghetti! Oh, I definitely don't want to bounce that guy, so, all right. That's pretty good. Now we're just going to bounce the other dude, because I don't care. Definitely didn't want to draw that guy. All right. You. Look how big this thing is. 4-4? Four, four? Woo! Get in there. Do we do you do you work? Let me get the the two dudes, the the two two and the one one next turn, so we can play three guys, and then we can strengthen the pack, and it'll be just brutal. I'll also take Dead Eye Rigger, so I can bounce something and play Miss Cloak Miss Cloaked Herald. So some regular it's this is gonna be I can't read things from you water sports through that are this long because they're just gonna be a mama with onions. 
One celebrity who you're not currently friends with will be soulbound for you the rest of their life. There's no obligation that you have a romantic entanglement, although you're allowed to, and you guys will never be able to be more than 20 feet away from each other. Who do you pick? Um, My default answer would be like Ryan Gosling because he seems like such a cool dude, but I don't want to be within 20 feet of him at all times because I will never... Um, he, he will always be the more attractive guy, right? What does this do? When there's battlefield, just one one. All right, cool. That's fine. Now I can definitely bounce that guy. I, not, I can't though because I only have one drop. This guy doesn't have life links, so that's nice. And then you got to think about it. Would you ever? Would you really want to be like twenty feet away from Harrison Ford at all times? There's going to be times where you're like, oh my god, I just need a break. Who's cool enough that you would not want that break from is the question. And I worry that it's going to be... That it's not... That it's not I don't know what I was going to say there. I'm worried that it's going to be. It's just a weird way to say that sentence when I had no idea what I was actually going for. Six damage. Good lord. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we go to nine. That's actually fine. Because next turn we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, that's rough. Oh, that's great. That doesn't do anything. Well, that's a cutie. Tap this guy down, never untaps, and then just win with strength of the pack. That seems better, I think. Because we'll take six, and then we'll still have a blocker in case they have some shenanigans. But then this gets just real good. I will take it. Can we win here? Well, these are unblockable. So that's at least six right there. Puts them to one. So if, if they play a blocker, yeah, that's pretty bad. I guess they are not dead. They do have to block everything though, right? So three, four, five, we go to one. No, they went to six. Never mind. This guy dealt him a damage. That's perfect. <laughs> Never mind. That's perfect. Wow. Uh, which front would I say I'm best at? Ooh. God, these best questions, man. I don't know. It's like that's a good question. I'm gonna take out River Darter again. I feel like in these matchups, deep root, deep root waters is probably just gonna be better because it's two Merfolk. Every Merfolk is two Merfolk, but. A Commander League someday? We can definitely do a Commander League someday. Someday? I don't know how I feel. I, oh, I kept that. I just literally had a feeling this was Hearthstone, and I was like, I'll mull this card. I can probably throw back a land so we can hit a guy for this. Um, I don't think I like this hand, though. We're on the draw. They went to six. Actually, maybe this is fine. If we hit any one drop off of the next, like, two turns, if we're, or one or two drop off the next two turns, this guy gets a lot better. Any forest, this guy's great. They went to four. I don't think it's going to matter. That's pretty bad. Um, and they're on the play. Okay. We have no other Merfolk. This guy's just coming down. That's great. Great. And by great, I mean it's okay. It's average, but it does let us play a 2-3 flyer on two, which is fine, and we can get a got a 1-1 one, one beater out of the deal. 
Uh, see, okay, I have no idea what commander I'd play because you literally just suggested it to me right now and I have not had time to think. That's like what modern deck would I play tomorrow when I literally just agreed to it seconds earlier. <laughs> I have no idea. You guys give me way too much credit in terms of preparation that I didn't, couldn't have because I didn't know I was doing the thing. I could definitely look up... I mean, I would obviously look up decks on like uh, Goldfish or whatever and see see what's good. Or see what's fun, really. I don't care what's good. I'd just rather have some some cool deck. Do we have a game? Can I get another forest? Look at this little dude. We can aggressive urge and save this guy. That's pretty good. Can we get Silvergill Adept? That would be sweet. This card's really good. Well, we can't play anything, so it does make the aggressive urge a pretty easy play here. Did I hit? They did keep a one lander, but I mean, they went to four, so it's not like they, uh, it's not like that was their, their choice, I would say. Jade Guardian's a good one next turn. I'm okay with that. Did you just exile my dude? Rude. Well, now we're just playing this guy. If we get another green, I think this game is over. If we don't get another green, probably still in pretty good shape here. Ah, one more land would be great. I mean, we're just going to end of turn Wind Strider here. It's probably the best play for us. Then we can actually put a counter on it with Jade Guardian. Or if we hit a green, have 10 damage in the air. Old Boy Odes 2, I will also miss the Vintage Cube drafts. Uh, we will be doing more content, though, like uh, Ixalan drafts and Standard and Modern. So hopefully, if you uh, are interested in those, you can check them out also on YouTube.com slash Frank Lepore. Didn't our first round opponent also have this? Is that... Or is this, is this the same... Is this game two? Am I having flashbacks? What's going on? Is this match two? What is going on? What I, I don't know where I am right now. Grandpa's having a, a senile moment. Green. Green. Forest. God, magic loves me with strength of the pack, dude. Oh, God. Oh, they didn't even let me cast it. They're like, all right, we know what's going on here. Wow, this is like 2-0. 2-0, 2-0. Oof. I would board out the Riverbender guy. Is that what it's called? Riverbender? I don't know. But, um... If I do that, we're just going to play a dinosaur matchup this round. And then I'm just going to feel stupid, so... I will play first. How good is this hand? Oh, this hand's great if we can hit one more land. I'm keeping this. We have two drop, two drop, two drop. And we get to start off this guy. All right. I'm in. I'm in. I feel like Snek. If we hit a land, Snek is actually better. Snek. God, I literally can't not say that. Okay, now it's bad. Could still be good. This is how we lose round three. We keep a greedy hand because we're so overconfident in how good our deck is. Ready? This is how it ends. This is how we die. Although red, green, red, red, white pirates is an interesting, an interesting uh, first play.
No blockerinos. Land? Oh, come on. Really? This is how you're going to be? I guess we can take five here. Oh, God. I don't really want to play anything, though. We're just, I think we're too far behind here. I'm just going to scoop. Time is a little bit more valuable at this point. In my life, not just in this game. I don't need the time in the game, but in my life, I'd rather just go see if my uh, thing is done. <laughs> I think we're just good like this. Our deck seems fine. I mean, we would have went to... We were at, what? I think we were at 13. We would have went to like 8. Eh. And we still didn't have a second card and the, and the menace guy is probably just gonna like if we have to double block the menace guy we we take another three from the other dinosaur if we block the other dinosaur we're already taking two so we go down to four like just was not a great situation for us this is actually great because we can play this guy followed up with jade bear and then followed up with this this is a significantly better hand Wow, I like that you entered River Snack and it actually came up. That's actually, that's wonderful. That's the world I want to live in. See, it's funny because despite uh, switching from 10, 7, 9, 8, we still are having a hard time drawing a second forest, so. Can we get... Can we draw a Silvergill Adept? That would be nice. Or any two drop. I'll take it. Is this a Mayability? No, it's got to be on there. All right. Man, dinos for days. So these guys can trade, and then we take two. Weird. River Snack comes up, but Mystic Snack doesn't. That's weird. I think we just trade and then Dead Eye Rigger the other guy. That seems fine. 3 2 for 3 2. I already dealt 3 and uh, you paid more. Deal. Let's draw Silvergill Adept into uh, the Pioneer. And then we can draw Strength. And that's going to be our, our next 3 draws. How's that? Too greedy? I don't know. Seen that guy. I've seen you. I've seen you around here. Okay, island is good too. I was thinking either island or the uh, the other dude. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven lands, four spells. Not not ideal, but. Oh, I see. Dostal, you definitely do. Connect your Discord and your uh, Twitch accounts. And then you get an invitation. Like it's nothing that I I don't actually manually invite people to the to the channel. If you're a subscriber and you've connected your Twitch your Twitch account and your Discord account, you should already uh, it should just give you an invite. That's weird. I personally don't know how it works. It has to be on the desktop, not the not the browser ver or not the uh, the mobile version though. If that means anything, Tower creature deals damage to another creature. Okay, sure. You kill my three two.
That's a big boy. That's a land. So you got a 1, 2, a 4, 4, and a 3, 4. We have a 1, 1, a 1, 3, and a 2, 2. I think we're actually going to lose this game. I have yet to win. Well, it, this is my third draft ever, so it's not terrible. Our first draft was Dinosaurs. Our second draft was Pirates, and our third draft was Merfolk. I think I kept a pretty risky hand game one here, but I also... Um, One, two, three, four. We can actually trade, but that's a two for one. I think we just go to seven here. Um, but I also think the hand is great if we can hit one land. And Silver Galatop would propel us to a third land. And if, if we didn't hit it, we still have two more plays. Yeah, this is getting a little out of hand. If we can get strength, I think we have a chance, but... Hmm... Guess we'll see what happens here. You have to go into connections and it's on a list of sub enabled. Oh, there you go. Cool, cool, cool. That's a good that's good to know. This guy got plus three? Oh, I thought it was plus two. Well, that was foolish. Maybe it wasn't foolish, it's still a trade. I guess they would have traded anyway though. But then they couldn't belong to that. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Yikes. Tap this guy down. Yikes. They're at nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we drew strength here and, and we just alpha. We'd still be one shy. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the end. Unfortunately, um, did we win a a game in this in this third in this third uh, draft? This third game, third third match. What are you saying? Let's find out. I just want to see. No, straight O2. The deck was pretty aggressive, and, and our draws were not great. Like, we kind of flooded a little bit in the third game, and uh, we were pretty... Uh, and, we, and we got screwed in the first game, so yeah, that's magic. What are you going to do? Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you guys haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.